a joke gone wrong, Susuano's controversial comment. Susuano, a candidate for Jakarta's vice governor, made a remark that sparked outrage. During a public event, he attempted to address social issues in a manner he thought would be lighthearted and engaging. He suggested that wealthy widows should marry unemployed young men. This comment was intended to be humorous, but it quickly became clear that it was anything but. He framed it as a joke, perhaps not realizing the gravity of his words or the potential for misunderstanding. He said it in the context of social welfare, aiming to highlight the issues of unemployment and the social isolation faced by widows. But his words were met with immediate backlash. The audience's reaction was swift and unforgiving. People from all walks of life criticized his statement. The comment struck a nerve across various segments of society. Politicians, women's rights advocates, and even everyday citizens voiced their disapproval. The criticism was widespread and intense. They found his words insensitive and out of touch. Many felt that he trivialized the struggles of both the unemployed and widows. His comment trivialized serious issues. It seemed to make light of the very real challenges faced by these groups. Poverty, unemployment, and the stigma faced by widows are not laughing matters. These are deep-seated issues that require thoughtful and respectful discourse. Susuano's comment highlighted a crucial point. Words have power. They can shape perceptions and influence public opinion. They can hurt, offend, and perpetuate harmful stereotypes. The impact of careless words can be far-reaching and damaging. As a public figure, he should have been more mindful. His position demands a higher level of awareness and sensitivity. His words had the potential to impact a large audience. The reach of his statement extended beyond the immediate crowd to the broader public. This incident serves as a reminder for us all. It underscores the importance of thinking before speaking, especially in public forums. We must be careful with our words. The language we use can either build bridges or create divides. We must think before we speak. Taking a moment to consider the impact of our words can prevent misunderstandings and hurt feelings. And we must be mindful of the impact our words can have on others. In a world where communication is instant and far-reaching, the responsibility to speak thoughtfully is greater than ever. Outrage and backlash, why Susuano's words drew ire. The public reaction was swift and intense, with people from all walks of life expressing their discontent. Susuano's comment was widely condemned. News outlets and social media platforms were flooded with criticism, as people voiced their anger and disappointment. Critics argued that it was sexist and misogynistic. The comment was seen as a blatant disregard for the progress made in gender equality and women's rights. It reduced women to their marital status and financial worth. This reductionist view was not only outdated, but also deeply offensive to many. It implied that a woman's value lies in her ability to provide for a man. Such a notion undermines the diverse roles and contributions of women in society. Women's rights advocates were particularly vocal in their criticism. They highlighted how such comments perpetuate harmful stereotypes and hinder the fight for equality. They pointed out that widows already face significant challenges. These women often have to navigate a complex web of social and economic difficulties. They often encounter discrimination and prejudice. This can manifest in various forms, from workplace bias to societal exclusion. They may struggle to support themselves and their families. The financial burden can be overwhelming, especially for single mothers who have to juggle multiple responsibilities. Susuano's comment only served to reinforce these harmful stereotypes. By suggesting that a woman's worth is tied to her ability to support a man, he perpetuated a damaging narrative. Furthermore, his statement ignored the complexities of poverty and unemployment, these issues are multifaceted and cannot be addressed with simplistic solutions. It offered a simplistic and unrealistic solution to a multifaceted problem. Poverty and unemployment are influenced by a range of factors, including education, healthcare, and economic opportunities. It failed to address the root causes of these issues. Effective solutions require a comprehensive understanding of the underlying factors and a commitment to systemic change. Susuano's comment revealed a troubling mindset. It exposed a lack of empathy and understanding for the struggles faced by many in society. It showed a lack of understanding of the challenges faced by women and marginalized communities. These groups often face unique barriers that require targeted and thoughtful interventions. It highlighted the need for greater sensitivity and awareness in public discourse. Moving forward, it is crucial for public figures to be mindful of their words and the impact they can have on different communities.
the plight of widows navigating stigma and hardship. Widows in Indonesia often face a difficult path. They may encounter social stigma and discrimination. They may be seen as burdens on their families or communities. They may be subjected to harmful traditions and practices. On top of this, they often bear the brunt of economic hardship. They may lose their husband's income and property. They may face limited job opportunities. They may struggle to provide for themselves and their children. Many widows exhibit incredible strength and resilience. They overcome obstacles and provide for their families, but they should not have to face these challenges alone. Society must recognize the struggles of widows. We must work to dismantle the stigma and discrimination they face. We must provide them with the support and opportunities they need to thrive. Section 4. Legal and Social Repercussions – The Price of Insensitivity In today's interconnected world, the impact of one's words can be far-reaching and profound. This is especially true for public figures whose statements are scrutinized by both the media and the public. Susuano's comment did not just draw criticism, it ignited a firestorm of controversy that spread like wildfire across social media platforms, news outlets, and public forums. It also sparked calls for legal action. Activists and legal experts began to dissect his words, looking for any potential violations of the law. Some groups accused him of violating Indonesian law. They meticulously gathered evidence and prepared to take their case to court, determined to hold him accountable. They argued that his words insulted Islam and disrespected the Prophet Muhammad. This accusation was particularly serious in a country where religion plays a central role in public life. While it is unclear if these legal challenges will succeed, they highlight the seriousness of his offense. The legal proceedings could drag on for months if not years, casting a long shadow over his career. They show that words have consequences. In an age where information spreads rapidly, a single comment can lead to widespread outrage and demands for justice. They demonstrate the need for public figures to be accountable for their statements. Every word spoken in public can be dissected and analyzed, and any misstep can lead to severe repercussions. Beyond the legal ramifications, Susuano faced a significant social backlash. The public's reaction was swift and unforgiving, with many calling for his resignation. His comments damaged his reputation and undermined his credibility. Once seen as a respected figure, he now found himself at the center of a storm of criticism. They alienated potential voters and cast a shadow over his campaign. His chances of re-election dwindled as more and more people distanced themselves from his controversial remarks. This incident serves as a cautionary tale. It reminds us all of the power of words and the importance of using them wisely. It shows that insensitive and offensive language can have far-reaching consequences. The ripple effects of such comments can affect not just the individual, but also their supporters and the broader community. It underscores the importance of thoughtful and respectful communication. In a world where every word can be amplified, it is crucial to speak with care and consideration, ensuring that our words build bridges rather than burn them. Section 5. Choosing our words carefully, the power of language. Language is a powerful tool. It can be used to inform, inspire, and uplift, but it can also be used to harm, divide, and oppress. Susuano's comment is a stark reminder of this fact. His words perpetuated harmful stereotypes about women and widows. They trivialized the complexities of poverty and unemployment. They caused offense and pain to many. This incident highlights the importance of choosing our words carefully. We must be mindful of the impact our language can have on others. We must strive to use language that is inclusive, respectful, and empowering. We must be willing to listen to and learn from each other. We must be open to challenging our own biases and assumptions. Only then can we create a more just and equitable society. Section 6. Beyond Rhetoric, Policy Solutions for Unemployment and Poverty. Susuano's comment distracted from a crucial conversation. Instead of focusing on his policy proposals, the public was forced to address his offensive remarks. This incident highlights the need for substantive policy discussions, particularly regarding unemployment and poverty. Addressing these issues requires comprehensive and thoughtful solutions. It requires investment in education and job training. It requires support for small businesses and entrepreneurship. It requires a commitment to social safety nets and economic opportunity for all. Politicians must move beyond rhetoric and empty promises. 
they must offer concrete plans to tackle these complex challenges. They must be held accountable for their actions, not just their words. Section 7. Building a more respectful dialogue.